Here's a picture of a freight elevator that I built for a pole barn back in around 2002. And we've used it a lot. It's got a five foot by five foot platform on it. And I've had a lot of people ask me um, about where I got the parts and how to put one together. So I figured I'd do a video and kind of go over it. Um, basically the structure is four, four, four by six posts that go up. The ceilings in here are about 16 foot high. So I just used four by four 16s and four of those. And then I made a structure on the top. If you can see it here to hold all the pulleys and everything. For the platform, I used LVL lumber and then some two by sixes. And like I say, the platform was five foot by five foot. For the tracks, I actually hollowed out some two by fours. Just put them on the table saw with a dado blade and hollowed them out. And then I got some casters. By the way, all the parts for this were either bought at Lowe's or Tractor Supply. Um, I didn't have to order anything special. The hoist was a Harbor Freight hoist, but here you can see the caster. That's just in a 2x4 track. Here's my cable attachments. So the key with any kind of a platform lift or a hoist is to get four points lifting at the same time at the same speed. So if you were to use four separate hoists each on a different corner of your platform, the problem would be the coil speed. As the hoist lifts up and, and the cable coils on the drum, you're going to get it coiling at different speeds depending on how the coil, the cable coils. And so you're going to get a platform that doesn't go up evenly. So the key here is to have one hoist do all the lifting and divide all that with using pulleys. Um, and you can see here I'm trying to show you some of the pulley rig and I'll show you it better from up top. But basically the hoist lifts on one large cable and then breaks off into four individual cables here and each individual cable goes to another pulley and shoots out in the four directions as you can see here on the structure so that when this hoist starts to lift it's lifting on one cable right here and that cable goes down to two separate pulleys cable goes back up and is divided you can't see it real well here because my platforms in the way is divided into four individual pulleys that go up into the four large pulleys here that you see and then out to each individual lifting point and those obviously go down to each of the four corners on the platform um, this device here that you see is just a li stop limit so when the platform gets so high it hits that bar and pushes on the hoist limit stop so that the hoist stops. Hoist was a 1300 pound hoist from Harbor Freight, about $180. Uh, altogether, I think I've got about $1,500 into this platform lift. The expense is the cables, the pulleys. These are uh, 4,000 pound pulleys bought at Tractor Supply. Here, I think those are roughly $40 each, so it adds up. But still, for what you're getting, and we've used this thing to lift many, many loads. Uh, probably all the way up to 500 pounds, I would say, is the limit on this. Even though there's a 1,300 pound hoist, you lose a lot in the pulleys with friction. So we've limited it to 500 pounds and hasn't had any problem. Obviously, for freight only, wouldn't use any anyone riding it you get in the way too much liability then at that point and you have to have all the safety features speaking of safety features I actually have all these cables are normally covered in this raceway here but I took the plywood off to be able to show you how the mechanism works but normally that would all be covered in case of a cable did ever snap it uh, couldn't whip around and hit someone alright that's part one of the video I'll go up top and we'll do part two and show you this thing in action